Hey y'all, so everybody's up in the air about the George Floyd um, uh, outcome. I'm wearing a shirt, and I know y'all think it's a Black Lives Matter shirt. It's got the, you know, but I'm not in the Black Lives Matter movement like that. I'm not in the Black Lives Matter movement, and I'm not really that excited about this verdict that came out, um, that he, the officer, was um, found guilty on all charges. <laughs> The, the bottom line is, what does that really mean for us going forward? What does that really mean for Blacks going forward? You know, George Floyd um, was arrested because he was involved in some criminal activity uh, or suspected uh, of being involved in criminal activity. He was ex suspected of uh, having counterfeit money. Uh, he resisted arrest. There were a whole lot of things that led to the outcome. Um, and the reason I'm really not excited as well, the knee hold that um, the officer placed on him was allowed in Minneapolis, in Minneapolis Minnesota. Now, it had been banned in many other um, cities, uh, in Minnesota, but not in Minneapolis. So the officer really was following procedure. He was following the procedure that was allowed on uh, his police force. So, you know, everyone got up in arms and upset when it resulted in George Floyd's um, death. But I just have to ask the question. I have to ask the question. What does convicting this man do for us going forward? What does it do for the George Floyds who are still in the womb? The George Floyds who are still running the streets? Uh, the George Floyds who are being raised by single mothers and grandmothers? I see a lot of single mothers, you know, black mothers raising their children alone, and I see a lot of grandparents. And where is the support for them? What happens now will determine whether that child enters a career of crime or becomes a productive citizen in society. So uh, my feeling is that we're not getting to the root of the problem. We're not getting to the root of the problem. Um, convicting this man does nothing to um, prevent this from happening again and again and again and again. Right now, there are youth who don't even have housing, who they're living uh, on the streets, or their housing is so insecure that the street is raising them. Where are the child care centers in Minneapolis where parents who are struggling can go drop off their children and make sure that they get quality care that they get quality education, that they get quality early literacy. Those are the things that really matter for um, the black race and, and all races who are um, suffering from any sort of um, inequities, um, um, economic disadvantages. That's what we need to focus on. But if we want to talk about black lives, then specifically, we need to talk about where our black children are today, or they're going to be in the same position that George Floyd was in. Um, and, you know, it's just going to be a repeat again and again. Um, officers are going to do their jobs. They're going to uh, hold down people who they think are suspects, who they think may... Uh, harm them. Officers are there to protect themselves. That's just going to happen. And this big outcry that got the nation all uh, up in arms and, and, and took over the mainstream media, you know, it's just a surface. It's just a band-aid. It does not represent a holistic approach to ending uh, the crisis that caused George Floyd, Floyd to die at the hands of police. You know, this, the, the same time, you know, you've got uh, babies, you know, kids who are dying in the neighborhoods because of drug shootouts, black on black. You've got black gang members. And how are they created? They're created because 
Uh, one, of course, is inadequate housing. That's what my whole thing is about, is uh, housing instability. You've got these youth, as I said, that are being raised by their single parents or their grandparents. Um, I, I know of an instance, a child was, and, and this is what I'm saying, happens all over the place, but this is one in specific I can talk about, this young uh, man, um, the young man now, but uh, he was raised from birth by his grandfather because his, his mother was uh, addicted to drugs and just wasn't in his life. So the grandfather took over, raised him until he was 14 years old. And then the grandfather passed away and wasn't able to, uh, wasn't there to pay the mortgage and keep the house. And they go in and they take the house and they don't see the 14 year old there. You know, so the 14 year old runs. And he tries to go to school. He tries to go to school every day. Um, where are the supports for that child? Where are the supports for that child? Why doesn't funding go to help administrators, teachers, counselors understand and recognize that child who eventually came to school dressed in the same clothes every day, um, who got to the point where people were recognizing his, his, his peers were recognizing he was dressed in the same clothing every day, and he became so uncomfortable he wouldn't go to school. So he had to survive on his own from 14 on. And he learned how to live in cars and how to live in abandoned buildings and that sort of thing. Where was the youth center there for that youth, for that young man? And uh, it goes on and on. It is an epidemic. Our youth are in trouble. Our youth are in trouble. And they are the ones that are going to... Um, potentially be the George Floyds of the future. Uh, so we need to not focus so much on all the media hype. And I know the media hype gets people because that's what you do. You turn on your TV and you just suck in everything that they tell you without realizing that there's a lot of depth to issues other than what you see on TV. Other than what you see on TV. The real crisis right now are our youth. Our youth are, many are unhoused, uh, many are struggling to survive, they're finding anything that they can to survive, be it legal or illegal activity. And these people who are screaming and running around saying Black Lives Matter, why aren't they investing, investing in youth centers where these young people can go and learn skills and be socialized? Uh, in, 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 in a manner that those who don't have the economic issues are. Uh, you know, you got to put your money where your mouth is. So this verdict, to me, I'm, I'm not impressed by it. Um, I'm not sure that it would have had the same outcome if um, the media hadn't put all of its, um, you know, sensationalism, sensationalism uh, behind it. Um, I believe they were afraid of another riot, to be perfectly honest. Uh, and, and you have to really look at the facts that, uh, you know, if you want to change things, you've got to get to the root of the problem. This problem was that the knee hold was allowed in Minneapolis. He was doing what he uh, was allowed to do. He may have overdone it. Uh, but if you worry about those things, then you remove those laws. Now, had that not been uh, a procedure that was allowed, then, you know, I would say he was totally in the wrong. Uh, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Right now is that we need to prevent future uh, circumstances like this from happening by investing now. Everyone needs to invest now. Uh, all of these people, the churches, where are they in these crises? Yeah, they talk about burying the youth, and, and many youth die at the hands of gang activity and that sort of thing. But where are the centers? Where are the places where they can go and uh, be trained so that, um, you know, they can be productive members of society? So that's, I just want to weigh in on the, on, on the George uh, Floyd uh, or, or the the verdict of the officer, Officer Chauvin. Um, and I, I wish that would end the problem. I wish that, you know, giving him the 
guilty verdicts on three counts would end the problem, but uh, it's, it's, the crisis still exists. The crisis still exists. All right, this has been Let's Talk. I come on and talk from time to time about uh, the housing crisis uh, in our country, how it is the real epidemic and that we really need to focus on ending that. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you'll do so, and I hope you'll smash the like button so that the algorithm will put me out and you can hear more of, of, of what I have to say on this topic. Until then, this has been Let's Talk. Talk to you soon.